Biden's $400 billion proposal for home and community-based services won't address all the problems in long-term care, an expert warns, and providers look to pack infrastructure bills with Medicaid financing and workforce support. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to the Virtual March on Washington special edition of CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning and today is Wednesday, April 7th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at NACACNA.org. Also, thank you to Great Tree Medical Staffing and the Georgia Healthcare Association for sponsoring this historic event. The Biden administration's $400 billion effort to boost home and community-based services, HB, HCBS, is ambitious, but still missing critical pieces toward fully reforming Medicaid's long-term care coverage, a leading expert is warning. President Joe Biden unveiled his $2 trillion American Jobs Plan last week, which calls for the boost to HCBS as a critical investment in the nation's aging infrastructure. Long-term care providers followed the move with an outline of their own on how federal lawmakers can support the building of a better aging infrastructure. Finance expert and Forbes columnist Howard Gleckman noted that although the proposal aims to tackle worthy causes such as Medicaid HCBS waiting lists and expand access to those services while also creating better jobs for caregivers, these goals conflict with one another. Quote, the problem, of course, is that given a, a finite amount of money, all of these laudable goals conflict with one another. The more services Medicaid provides to currently eligible beneficiaries, the fewer resources it has to expand the program to more people, Gleckman wrote in a Thursday column. He also noted that there are still several missing pieces not proposed in the plan. Those issues include more support for the Money Follows the Person initiative, affordable housing, and installing a fully funded public long-term care insurance program. Quote, these objections aside, Biden has taken a giant step towards reforming Medicaid's dysfunctional system of long-term care failures that were laid before the COVID-19 pandemic, Gluckman wrote. Investments in aging services infrastructure must include a new $6 billion provider relief fund for those hardest hit by the pandemic, a permanent increase of Medicaid's federal medical assistance percentage, and support to update nursing home buildings, leading age outlined in a letter to congressional leaders last Thursday. The request comes as Congress prepares to tackle the $2 trillion infrastructure package announced by President Joe Biden earlier last week. His proposal calls for $400 billion for home and community-based services. Though the plan is an ambitious and promising start by the administration, leading age president and CEO Katie Smith Sloan said it's going to take more to improve the state of aging services infrastructure across the continuum. Quote, right now, we don't have the infrastructure for aging services that we need, and the systems that we do have are crumbling. Sloan said during a media briefing on Thursday, quote, our plan lays out a path that Congress and the administration must consider in the coming weeks as they turn their attention toward infrastructure. I believe now is the best opportunity we've had in decades to transform our system, she added. Because the president's proposal is still taking shape, Washington observers say it may be the best chance in decades for lobbyists and associations to influence healthcare and other infrastructure initiatives. Administration officials have said the package unveiled yesterday is just the first of two parts. Leading Age urged Congress to create a strong foundation to build back aging services before it begins work on projects more traditionally viewed as infrastructure. To ensure providers come out of the pandemic financially stable, the organization proposed the $6 billion hardest hit provider relief fund for nursing homes and other long-term care providers. The group also called for a permanent 10% increase of FMAP funding for both nursing homes and HCBSs to promote workforce investment. For nursing homes and other congregate settings, the plan calls for any infrastructure package to include provisions for rebuilding outdated physical structures, private room conversions, and improved staffing ratios. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Enjoy the march.